going on guys I'm back with another one so there were actually three suspects in that PNB murder and now they're all caught so this it was a 17 year old boy who uh, who shot him PM who shot PNB and then the father was the getaway driver he got caught in uh, Las Vegas and then we got the mom stepmom they got they got her too now she was just a rain today Anyway, we're going to get into this. This is a short video. We're going to get into this and uh, see what this is. A father is in custody along with his 17-year-old son and the boy's stepmother. They're being charged with murder of rapper PNB Rock. He was shot and killed during a robbery at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in South L.A. earlier this month. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo has more on the trio of suspects. She joins us now live from Compton. Christy. Now, one of the suspects, Chantel Trone, was arraigned here at the Compton Courthouse earlier today. The 17-year-old, whose name is not being released because he is a minor, was also arraigned in juvenile court. And his father was on the run until today. A family under arrest, 40-year-old Freddie Trone, no longer a fugitive, caught by police in Las Vegas. The LAPD says he was the getaway driver, and his 17-year-old son was the gunman, who earlier this month shot and killed. Oh. Rapper PMB Rock, while he was eating lunch at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in South LA with his girlfriend. The LAPD believes the duo was after the rapper's expensive jewelry and may have been tipped off to his whereabouts by a social media post. His murder provoking outrage and calls for justice. He was a guest in our community and was gunned down. Gunned down by a cowardly act. Also likely to turn heads, Fox 11 has learned the alleged teen gunman was just out of jail and wearing an ankle monitor, which should have gone off once he left his home. Court's going to go on the record. Call just out of jail, wearing an ankle monitor. What the? And he's supposed to be home. Was it supposed to go out? So as soon as he left that door. They're supposed to get an alert and come see him. Where you at? Where you going? No matter of people versus Chantel Trone. Also in custody, Freddie Trone's 38-year-old wife, Chantel, who choked back tears during her arraignment in Compton. Police have not said her involvement, but she pled not guilty to charges of being an accessory after the fact. Chantel Trone is due back in court on October 13th. As for Freddie Lee Trone, he could be arraigned as early as tomorrow. Now, we did check jailhouse records, and it shows that someone with the same name and the same age was arrested back in August and was released in March of this year from county jail. But those records did not say on what. Yeah, that was him. They just can't put out too much information because he's still a minor. And the uh, stepmom holding back tears for by herself. You ain't feel bad for what y'all did to that boy, right? What y'all did to P and B. Mm mm mm. It's a shame. Put some money, some jewelry, and then what? Now that seventeen-year-old gonna spend the rest of his life in jail. Father, mother, everybody locked up. Crazy stuff, man. It's a crazy world. Yeah, I gotta be safe out there. Don't be all flashy unless you're ready for that consequence. And that consequence ain't worth it. I don't think so, at least. Anyway, guys, until next time, be safe, be well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.